This village is just insane. Look at it. Look at the height of it. Oh. Um, and welcome to the first technical failure of this channel. Uh-oh. Mm. So this is the second time of recording this intro. We did it a week ago in a place called Fennelsberg in France and didn't realise that the microphones had failed. <laughs> so seeing as we can't actually remember or, or hear what we said last time, do you know what? We're just, well, gonna get on with the video. so pretty the windy windy yeah. backwards and forwardsness with the trees and we've had a little stream beside us and i'm actually a little bit lost for words i didn't expect this and See, it I seems find like all the best places to visit we're here we are here. Where are we here? Oh, uh, sanctuary of Mont Saint-Denis. To explain, Alison's kind of planned out, like you normally do actually, the, last, the next couple of days. Of course. And I've just hit the navigation to get us here. So, we've come up a very long way. Yes, we're on the top of a hill. More of a mountain than the amount of time we came up. It's taken us just over an hour to get here, and the reason we did have to do a bit of a pit stop, because, uh, we found out that driving in this part of France, and particularly when we get to Switzerland, mm -hmm. I think this might be just in the winter, we have to be carrying snow chains. They were 200 euros for snow chains. I nearly had a heart attack. You just complain about being cold. Yes, I am cold. I think it's because we're so high up, the temperature has definitely dropped. And I don't know, I'm hoping that we can get over somewhere and we have a a Apparently good view it's down. 12 degrees C, according to that board. <sighs> I don't know about that. Got it, Sust. Former abbey, founded by Saint Odile more than 1300 years ago, remaining a sanctuary dedicated to the saint, place of prayer, silence, and renewal. Right. Ooh, look. And a hotel. Look. Looks like it might get a view from here. Definitely from here, though. Well, I think that's St Agnes's... Because we're, we're here, aren't we, down this end. We've parked up, up here, yeah. come in, and then we can get up in, hopefully, into... Well, that bit is closed, the Chapel of St An Angers. Which is the little thing on the end. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Chapel de des, des Lames. That didn't okay. say. Didn't guess. We're kind of just planning it these next couple of days by ear. Or by eye. By eye. Places that just look... Yeah. Rapturous. We kind of know the direction. I think this is kind of how we're going to handle this going forward. We've just kind of decided what direction we want to head in. And oh I've got a big grin on my face. Goodness. Because there is a view. Gosh, look at that. I didn't realise we'd come up quite that high. Oh. Wow. Well, look how far down. Look at this. Wow, I thought we came past that, but we didn't. Come on a road there's like a that. Thing on this, come around the back here. There's a thing. We came past a cross like that. I'm a sure we did, but it on wasn't. The side of the. But it wasn't on a track like that. Oh, by the way, we might not be able to talk a great deal because apparently here is silence.
there's not a lot to see up here as such, but I mean the views are worth every moment of driving up that dodgy road. Yeah. But I assume this, this kind of tells us what things are. Ah, so this is what we're looking out on. Yeah. That is out there. Does it say which way Switzerland is? Uh, no, but it's east of here. So that's east. Is it? So Switzerland's over there, is it? That'll be over there then. Though I just checked on Google Maps. Mm. Switzerland's south, it's that way. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was east. I honestly did. I thought we'd come far enough down it was kind of east of us, but we kind of, we're now kind of cooking over the top part of uh, Switzerland, so. Okay. Yeah, Switzerland's uh, that way, where okay, it looks okay. really cold. To be fair, it looks fairly cold all the way around. But we're fine. We've got snow chains now. <laughs> we're all set. I'm going to install snow chains on my feet. Oh, she's got them, what they, I can't remember what they're called. The things you strap on your shoes. Clampon things. Clampons, crampons. Crampons? crampons. I am school. With the spiky things, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Something like that. However, going back to the map, I just realised, here we are. We're 763 metres up. Where have you gone? Oh, no way. <laughs> Hello. We're in a tree. It's so quiet in the tree. It's very quiet in the tree. How did it get to four o'clock already? <laughs> Because we've been faffing around all day, like we often do. Why? Right. okay. So, let's, let's go there might be a slight change of plan today. We'll explain that in a second, but basically I think we'll have to do this over three days instead of two at this rate. So today we're supposed to be here, mm -hmm. and then we were going to drive to where we're sleeping tonight, which we're still going to do, but before we settle down for the evening, we're going to go and do a short hike to a... I think a waterfall. Mm -hmm. But looking at the time already, by the time we get there, I imagine it's going to be starting to get dark. Yes, and we're not going to go hiking in woods. No. In the dark. Dark like this. <sighs> Hi. Morning, darling. Hi. Hi. We've uh, got our drinks. Mm. What a beautiful night. Mm. Lovely place. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a beautiful night. Hey, hey, where were you? In the woods. On your own? Mm, take two. What a location. You can see, you know, we're still parked up down there. You can hear the uh, sound of the babbling brook, river, whatever, whatever you want to call it. It was like white noise in the night. Oh, it's it? lovely. It lovely. Yeah. Mm. Just, yeah, I. I <laughs> Blown away by this place again. But, Thank you. Yeah, no, you've done well again finding <laughs> locations. You're becoming a bit of a superstar at this. So I think the plan now, head back, finish coffees, have breakfast, and then we're going to take a walk up to this waterfall. Yes. What's above the babbling brook? Yeah. I haven't got a clue how big it is. This could be very disappointing or quite spectacular. Not a clue. I didn't, to be fair, I didn't actually look on Google Maps. I just saw it said waterfall and thought we haven't you had one You saw it one said waterfall. Yeah. Saw there was a park up next to it and went, that'll do. That's enough. Enough said. just incredible. I mean, that waterfall, 
just this whole forest area. <laughs> also built this platform, which nicely overlooks you know, the waterfall there, and then you can see all the way downstream. Are they going to climb up? Yes. Yeah? Frame says yes, body says no, but you know. Well, let's brain, keep going yes, as wins. far as we can until your brain decides to change its mind and say, why did we do this? <laughs> That'll be in two seconds. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's drawn Hello. a smiley face with sawdust. Oh, that is just so cute. <laughs> I, I, I tell you what, I can see why they draw a smiley face here. I've noticed that both of us have got big, big grins on our faces. I don't know what you're talking about. My face is always like a flat bar. So I don't know if this came out on there, uh, or I caught this on camera as we crossed this little bridge here. But not overly blessing, happy about the fact that this has got gaps Come where on. we can see the world underneath him. You're not happy about this, are you, mate? You're not enjoying that at all. <laughs> it's because his eyesight's going. He can't oh. tell where it is or what's beneath it. Bless him. Well done, Poor Mark. boy. Right, that is a phenomenal way to start the morning. Let's hope the rest of the day goes as well as this. Let's get back down to the motorhome, do pre-flight checks, and then hit the road to the next location. So, where have you dragged us to, Bobby? This is the Chateau de Haute-Konigsberg. Haute-Konigsberg. Yeah. <laughs> that. Yeah. This. This thing here. It looks quite spectacular, I've got to say. It's immense. Yeah. And, and we are rather a little way up. I mean, I don't even know if that's going to come out of camera. I know camera has a way of making things, but... Further away. That looks like a toy town down there. It really does. Like a model, like a, like a miniature village thing. We are so far up. It's a shame it's a misty, I bet you could see for absolute miles. Mm. So that was 12 euros each. I think it might be worth it. <laughs> I can't say something though. This doesn't feel real. This feels like a movie set. Mm. I know like they've done some reconstruction, but it looks incredible. Yeah. Right, well, we've come off that main courtyard back there, and again, I've got to say it, I don't feel like I'm in a proper castle. I feel like this is a, it sounds horrible, but a Walt Disney set. Yeah. It's amazing. It's in such good condition. But it's not just that, it's so theatrical. That's the <laughs> word I'm looking for. Obstacle course. <laughs> The entrance to the upper ward was a checkpoint and wanted visitors had to, become, had to overcome a series of obstacles. An exposed staircase, which was monitored by the wall walk up there, a strong metal gate, an overhang that can be used for shooting from, and then a drawbridge that could be raised. So uh, we seem to have appeared in some kind of inner courtyard. And as you were reading over there, it's got two staircases. You've got this staircase here, which was meant for the, the ladies of the manor, mm -hmm. like Alison. And that's very posh and got all lovely stuff on it. And then you've got the, the Hansel and Gretel type tower for the servants. That's the one they have to climb up. <laughs> Should we take the posh one? Let's take the posh one. This room 
seems a bit spectacular, isn't it? Mm. Still complaining about spending 12 euros to come in. Oh, very much so. <laughs> but I'm going to make the most of it because, yeah, this is... This is the Kaiser's room, so I'm, I'm guessing it's Kaiser Wilhelm II that was mentioned, that it was given to him. Right. Which I think I is a relation to the Queen. Is that? That's ceramic, no touchy. That's ceramic. That's ceramic. Oh my word. We say goodbye. And it's Looking like two trees. Falling off the trench. We will find some easy out. I don't know, don't know, don't know. Here's another one of these ceramic things. It's incredible, isn't it? So much detail. I've had a bit of a light bulb moment. Go on. Possibly. Go on. But it's got a hatch in it. Do you think it was a radiator? They're oh. equivalent of a radiator. It's a very flash radiator, but potentially, yeah, you're right. That's where they Did the other put one the coals. Did the other one have one? I don't know. Let's go check. So that'll be a. Oh, it's got a hatch in it. Oh, yes, then. You found the answer, yeah? Yeah, and if you come here... Hang on. Yeah, come here. Seriously. And there's another one. Built in. Yeah. They're radiators. So that seems to be the end of the inside bit. And this ooh, is another hello. drawbridge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're on another drawbridge. I imagine at some point in time that would have been full of water. That is a very goes big down a very uh, not as long as I thought, but quite a long way down. No, look at the 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 gargoyle face. Monkey thing. Mm -hmm. Go on, monkey thing. Did you enjoy your trip, my darling? <sighs> it's a shame the camera was pointed at me. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, what have you? Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. There. Did you actually see the size of that crow that just came in that window? It's huge. So, I'm going to keep the camera on this. <laughs> but His wingspan just... did not fit through that window. Yeah, we're talking about you. There he is. He's going to go back over the side. Has he come here? Where's he gone? In this way. Look at the size of him. He's huge. Right. We think we may have come into some kind of defensive position thing. Oh, this is the bastion that was round the end. Wow. There, that good lord. It's Mr. Crow. We're a long way up again. I saw Mr. Crow fly through the window over here. Well, that's a shame. Can't go in here. Is he in there? No. That's a very big gun. I love the way it's got two handles on the top, like you could just pick it up and <laughs> move yeah. it around. I, I think maybe that's for winching it onto boats and stuff. You think? Yeah. This one's probably about more my size. You think you could wield that, do you? No. Well, that appears to be that on, on this particular castle. Chateau. Chateau. Um, it's enormous. It is enormous. Still so I'm much gonna be honest off. with you. I, yeah, it's gonna say I do feel a little cheated. Because I did kind of want to go up in the really big tall tower and I'd love to have gone <laughs> up there and seen that little windmill yeah. properly close up. Maybe when they're finished restoring it we can come back in ten years time. Yeah. And see the rest. Because yeah. this is just I I love it. 
it's, it is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> the weather had been crap this morning. It was hotting down. We, we've had rain, so we've kind of hung out where we were last night, which was next to this uh, vineyard, I think it is. Yeah. Seems to be a lot of, um, what do they call them, cellars, caves. Yes. Caves or whatever. It's because we're in the Alsacian iron, uh, uh, bleh, wine region. Ah, never heard of it. Right, so the plan today is because while we were driving around over the last couple of days, we've seen a lot of the local villages around here and have been blown away by their beauty. So today we are planning to try and see a village. Mm -hmm. And we looked in the local area and apparently there's one up the road from here that's supposed to be particularly beautiful. So the first stop today is to try and, well, go and see if that's correct. Right, we're at the beautiful town. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that beautiful from here. I'm gonna, and I can't give in a little bit away behind there. Well, so yeah. we are actually in. There we go. It says it here. Rick, 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 And well, this will give you a rough idea. This is the sort of thing we've come to say. I am in love with that post office. That's the post office. That's the post office. Oh wow. La Poste. Yeah, that's <laughs> really special with all of the painted stuff all over oh, it. Oh, it's adorable. And they've purple stained the wood, which, you know, anything purple and it's just perfect. Yeah, right. I think we're going over there. Wipe dribble off. Oh my word. Oh, look how narrow that road goes. Put that one there. Yeah. Oh, this is. Yeah, all right. It I know people have I know people have turned around and made comments about me using the word stunning, but this, <laughs> this is stunning. <laughs> Ooh, There's no other word for it. I like you just said, yeah, this is worth every ounce of that 10 euros to park here. Oh. This village is just insane. Look at it. Look at the height of it. Oh. Look at the colours. That really makes it. The, the fact that the they're all colours. so sort of pastel, but vibrant pastel colours all the way up. That's love. And this, this alley. You've got to walk down there. You want to go down there now? Yes. Well, yes, I do. Come on yes, then. Yes, I do. <laughs> let's, let's head straight down here because. What's that? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. It's so cool. I don't know why it's cool, but it's very cool. And all the decorations on the uh, the windows and 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 chitty chitty bang bang. What's that? That's what this reminds me of. The chitty chitty bang bang. Um, Village, yeah, where the child catcher with a child catcher. Bring, I was creams. gonna say, bring out your kids. That's not what it says, is it? Free today. That's it. <laughs> I just said to Alison, if you just said that we're just wandering up, my, my brain has just gone a complete mush. It's just too much, yeah. Sensory over sensory, sensory, sensory look overload. at the tower at the end, <sighs> look at it. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. This has got everything that we love of medieval towns times 50 on steroids in one place. I've never seen anything like this, ever. Ever.
<laughs> we've actually come out of the uh, the inner part on the outside of the walls here and just the, the drawbridge entrance thing down, here. Yeah. She on the horse is stunning. <laughs> that is just incredible. <laughs> She's exquisite. So you want to go down here first? Yeah, there's something. Because I want to go down that alley down the side there. Well, there should be another entrance down there. We can come back that way because we've promise? got to go that way then. Do you promise? Do. Clearly now wandering between. Between? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. This I haven't was, got this a clue. This wall on the right was put in in 1500 and something. This one to here. To double yeah. the safety. The defence. Yeah. This is clearly the back of all the really prettily coloured houses. Yeah. Not made quite so much. It still looks stunning here, but. It does, not it? Not made quite so much effort with the colours this side. Yeah. I have no idea what this is. This is, is what you I came down. Tree. This is what you wanted to see, wasn't it? Yeah. Is it some kind of press or? Oh, it's a great press, isn't it? Thicky. Ah, because we're in the wine thick, area, thick. the wine region. They dump all the grapes in, put something on the top, and push the grapes. Squish them. Of course the... they do. There we go. I can't believe I didn't work out what that was from looking at it. <laughs> Thicky looks thick, thick. You get there in the end. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the that... road you want to go back up. If you've seen any of our videos, you'll know I love these little tight, twisty alleys. Well, there you are right. It doesn't look no. quite as pretty as no. it did from the other end. No. It's because it's, it's more subtle and subdued hues of colour, isn't it? Yeah. It's not quite so in your face and because you can't really look up. I mean, it's got the overhangs, which yeah. I love. Like this one here. And bits like this. Which is kind of done to look like a little bit gingerbread -y again. I love that. That crow loves it too. Crow <laughs> thinks it's funny. But that's more like the colour in the main bit. These brighter colours. Yeah. Well, when we get to that building there, we're back where you wanted to come from the other way. And it is, it's, look, it's, um, I can't think of the name of it, I bet it won't come to me at all, but it looks like we had dash. the, uh, <laughs> we, we covered our fireplace, the sides of our fireplace thing in this stuff and painted it a boring white, but we did indeed. What are we doing? We're wasting we're time. Yeah, because you're, you're, you're playing with the Japanese tourists, helping them get their photos right and stuff. We need to concentrate on ourselves. This is cool. And seeing stuff. Yeah, this is cool though with the... Oh, this is lovely. With the tight little alley and they've got the bright colours. And... And their own little press the in the boxes. corner, look. And they're rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. It's a bit of a dull colour, but... Oh, oh yeah, can you imagine yeah. if that was painted one of those bright greens or oh. blues or something? That'd be phenomenal. Oh, if that was done like the post office. I like the doors though. Gorgeous doors. Again, see we had these doors in our house back in Spain that actually turned out, what? Past the pub. Past the pub. <laughs> I was saying, we had these doors in our bedroom back in Spain and they were, I mean, to me, I think they only came just below shoulder height, didn't they? Mm. And everyone doors. thought we should have had the roof moved and all kinds Raised of- Raised the roof. Whoop, whoop. But no. <laughs> <laughs> there was no way. Oh. I thought they were incredible. Oh, whoa. beautiful little courtyard. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh. You'd have to get on with your neighbours though, wouldn't you? Because it looks like there's three properties share that courtyard. It's lovely. Isn't it? So the other thing uh, I don't think we mentioned yet, and I don't know why I didn't think it was going to be the case, but there's people living here. This is a proper it's not a tourist attraction no, in the village. sense, it's an actual village. Yeah. There's people driving around in cars, there's people coming out their houses and... I need to just... I need to just... This is a bit... Go there. What's in down here? Well, it's a pizza restaurant, but... I just want to have a look at the courtyard. With the muse. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. It's lovely. It is. Is it? Is it what? Is this... Can we say this is officially one of the most pretty places we've been? Yes. Is it number one so far? We're gonna have to... 
Yeah, see, Carcassonne I thought was stunning, but there's just something very special about here. It's that fairy tale. This doesn't feel, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It, this it doesn't feel like a like, real place. No, this feels like, you know the chateau we went to yesterday? Yeah. This feels like, like a, a Disney representation. A film set. Of a medieval village. But this is real. <laughs> These people live here. Yeah. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this just got a very expensive trip. <laughs> I've been hanging my nose over a really good hat for a very, very long time, haven't I? I've always wanted like a, almost a proper cowboy hat. And lo and behold, here in this village is a proper hat shop and I just overspent and bought a proper hat. But it's a very cool proper hat. It's a very cool proper hat. I'm like a proper cowboy. Let's go and get my horse. It just amused me that when you tried it on, you even stood like a Texan with your, yeah, like that. Well, let's go. Kind of like that, <laughs> but not quite so camp. Thank you so much Thank you. for taking my money. <laughs> Thank you. Take Never care. Nice Bye. Day. I'm sorry now, you're going to have to put up with the rest of this video with me looking like a cowboy. <laughs> Uh, oh, you have been after one for so long. Oh, I know. I'm such a child at heart, though. Well, I've worn a cowboy hat, Mum. <laughs> well, now you have a cowboy hat. <sighs> what an amazing building. To explain the hat scenario, in the summer, it's just nice to have a brimmed hat to shade yourself from yeah. the sun. And I just wanted a decent one that wasn't like a rag on my head. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That was incredible. My brain is fried. We, like Alison, I think said earlier, we read somewhere people moaning about the price of parking. 10 euros to park here and come and see this. Yeah. Every day of the week. Right, we've got one last stop of the day. Yes. And actually, it kind of suits my new cowboy hat. <laughs> it does. Come on, it let's does. go and see it. So, my love, we are approaching... Something. I can uh, actually our see last it in the distance. Spot of the day. Yes, I can, and it looks really bizarre. Well, I, I don't know what to make of this. We're on a main road, dual yep. carriageway. Yes. Heading towards Colmar. 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 And we're interested in a roundabout. Yeah, we're about to come up to a roundabout with something. I knew there was a second one. No, there is a second one in Paris, but not... Oh, well, there's obviously a third, then. Here. There's obviously and, a third. Well, I'm... She's fairly large. Yeah. Can you show the people? It's the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> this is the bizarrest way of finishing off a video. Because I was rather shocked when I saw it on the map. Yeah, because let's be I blunt. I I was seeing things. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I, when Alison mentioned it to me, I was like, what? But, I mean, look, this is the main road into the, the, the town. We're in the middle of an industrial estate, or what do you call it, like a retail park. Yeah. And, and yeah. And a childish sense of humour. In humor. France, by the way, in France. We're still in France. Still in France. And we're going to see the Statue of Liberty. My childish sense of humour really likes the name of that, <laughs> that shop. But we're reading this sign about that lady over there and it, it looks like it's a genuine version of the Statue of Liberty. This is not some knockoff. <laughs> what, so you know what I was trying to say? It's not like some Seaside attraction, fake Statue of Liberty. It's a genuine action. Statue of Liberty. Okay, so here's the situation. This guy here, Augusta Bartholdi, or however you pronounce it, was actually the guy that created the proper Statue of Liberty in New York. Yes. And he's from this town. Yes. And this has been created, this one, by. Um, some other artist in honour of 
the guy that created the original one. Yes. Cool. I think we got it. Let's go and have a closer look. Sorry about the car noise. Yeah, you might not hear much of it, but there she is. There's something you don't see every day in France. I'm sure if you're from New York, is it New York? Is it? Yeah, New York. That's a common sign. I honestly didn't know that was there. Oh, it's starting to rain, Neil. It is. I can see the drips on your glasses. Look, guys. Thank you so much for joining days. us. What for a phenomenal the last few days. days. It's been stunning. It is starting to get very wet. So look, we'll see you. See you next Sunday. Next Sunday. Take Bye. care. Bye.